200 miles away. The mud flats of Suncheon Bay in the south of the Korean mainland. During the monsoon, they receive one of the highest levels of rainfall anywhere in Korea. It can rain constantly here for weeks at a time. But it is not the torrential downpours that have shaped this landscape. Suncheon Bay is a tidal ecosystem that is neither land nor sea. Each day, the tidal waters of the bay withdraw to reveal over eight square miles of thick mud, a seemingly inhospitable landscape. But the local people thrive here, as they have done for thousands of years. No modern vehicle can cross the mud. Instead, the local people get around here on specially designed boards. It is hard going, but the rewards are huge. The mud of the bay is rich in nutrients and supports one of the most diverse ecosystems in Korea. Today, the mud flat industry is larger than ever before. Seafood makes up a huge part of the Korean diet and much of it comes from Suncheon Bay. Thousands of tons are harvested here every year. Yet despite the increase in fishing activity in the bay, the mudflats are so rich that they're quick to replenish what is taken out during the harvest. Some of the most abundant creatures here are various forms of mud skipper, the misfits of the aquatic world. They spend almost as much time out of the water as they do in it. And that's possible as long as they remain moist, allowing them to absorb oxygen through their skin. There are several different species of mudskipper here. Shuttle's hopfish is among the smallest. This male is just five centimeters long, and he's only just reached sexual maturity. Now this young hopeful must find himself a mate. <laughs> 